What is up you guys? It's Jules and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about the off season. If you guys have been following me for a while then you know that I run at the University of Kentucky on the women's track and cross country team. So if you guys know anything really about running, especially distance running, really an all year round sport. We're competing all three seasons during the school year, um, cross country in the fall, indoor track in the winter, and then outdoor track in the spring. So kind of goes for a hot minute and then summer you're training most of the summer except for like your little break you get so that's gonna be what we're talking about today if you guys run as well then you guys definitely know too that is an all year round thing and we love it but yeah i think it's really important to take advantage of that off season and that little break you get to kind of reset and get ready for the next season coming up so my favorite thing about the off season is the fact that i get to pretend that i'm at least semi-decent at any sport or even honestly just any physical activity other than running um so i love to go for some bike rides maybe with some friends but I definitely would recommend doing some sort of other like physical activity when you're on your break because then also one you're still keeping your body moving and you know keeping that kind of habit and two you're kind of giving a break and doing something that's a little different for um a couple weeks and just exploring that and having fun with that so yeah like I go for I really like biking so I'll go for some bike rides even if it's just a leisurely stroll with my family or if I'm doing something a little more I guess I don't want to say like intensive, but something a little more substantial, like on the bike path, which is really nice about where I'm from. Currently on the bike. Anyways, a scale of one to ten, how good do I look with a helmet on? Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Say hi, mom. Hey. <laughs> nice night out here. Another one is, you know, just having fun with your friends you know bringing a group down to the park and playing some sand volleyball uh spike ball for hours on end which is really nice because you don't have to worry about like tying yourself out for a competition really of course like later in summer training sometimes you have like bigger workouts or whatever the case may be but for the time being like in the summer you don't really have to think about the fact like oh i can't go play sand volleyball for a couple hours because i have a race so i don't want to be tired but that's not really not the case here so go do that have fun with people and at the very least, maybe go for a hot girl walk, hot boy walk. It's it's summer, it's city girl summer, hot girl summer, Miley Stewart summer, whatever summer you're having, that includes walking and being active and just having a good time. So I think everyone can benefit from walking. I think it's such a fun thing to do. Take your dog for a walk, whatever the case may be. I think all of that kind of culminates in you know, helping you remember why you love what you do. I always come back to having your why. Some of the best advice I've ever gotten is you need to know your why in any sport you do and it's like so far beyond any sport or running or anything it's for everything you do in life you need to have a purpose and a reason for that i think being able to do fun things really kind of reminds you of that purpose because i i feel like once you get towards kind of the end of your break a lot of times you're like oh man i kind of miss running like i'm excited to get back into it i think that kind of helps like reground you and i would say especially when you're coming back into running and training i would definitely say that you guys should do just some like fun runs that really make it fun obviously that's what a fun run is i don't, I don't know but for me like that's going to a trail and um or even just like hopping on the like the gravel trails and the bike path. Um, I just think those are so fun and so cool. Exploring nature is super fun. Or just like getting a new group of friends to go for a run with you. I think that's really cool. But yeah, and I think also that gives you an opportunity to kind of unpack the previous competitive season that you had. This is what went well. This is what goals maybe I didn't quite achieve. And you can move on from that and be like, okay, so that was this season in a nice little box and that's not who I am anymore. So I'm gonna move forward from that. And you get to make new goals and figure out how you're gonna incorporate those new goals into your training and um, just your everyday like routine. I'm just thinking of all these good things that come from the off season. So like resetting your habits and routines that are gonna be most beneficial to you when it comes time to be back in competition season. But, of course, the most important thing is when you're taking your break or you're on your off season, whatever, is to rest. You are not competing for a reason. You are not running for a reason. You are resting because your body needs that. But the biggest thing is to make sure you're resting and really enjoying your time. And don't stress about the fact that you're not, like, training right now. Even if you're, you know, just in a lighter training load and um, just you know in an active recovery cycle or something like that definitely let your body like rest and um, 
don't feel like you need to be pushing yourself because I think it's easy to get in that cycle where you're like oh well you know I'm not running as hard as I was like three months ago well yeah three months ago you were peaking to run at like your best race so um, you can't do that every single day so that is something definitely to keep in mind every little cycle and training block it has a different purpose and um, has reason behind it so I think you should totally embrace that and have fun with it well that's something I just wanted to talk about for a little bit today anyways let me know down in the comments what your guys favorite thing is to do during the off season or on your break or whatever also if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below and with that I love you guys all so much and I'll see you in the next one bye